Reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. Listening to Lotro Reporter on the MMO Reporter Network. Brought to you by Doghouse Systems. Choose your weapons with Doghouse Systems. Audible? Find your next great read at audibletrial.com slash MMO Reporter. And GoDaddy. Put your website to work while you play. Welcome to Lotro Reporter, episode 251. I am your host, Carrie Mack. And I fired Leonor, and I am joined by a special guest host this evening. Hello, Amava Sets. Greetings, ineffectuals. Yes. Um, actually, Leonor is in the process of moving halfway across the country, so I, I got to pick my guest host, and I picked him. So I'm glad, I'm glad you could join me this evening. So you are accepting full responsibility for this. Yes, I'm also um, completely in charge of editing, so you may... <laughs> <laughs> wise, very wise. Yes, I've discovered entire words can be removed from sentences if you edit closely enough. It's kind of interesting. What happens if your guest talks really fast like this? Then I slow you down, or then I, then I crank it up, and then it sounds... No, we have to talk really slowly and then speed it up to sound like hobbits. Um, Hi. It sounds like hobbits naturally. Yes, we could. We certainly could. <laughs> that you we think s- we could do the whole show like this? You can try. I will allow it. I will allow it. <laughs> Meow. That I will not allow. <laughs> <laughs> Meows will be removed. So, Amosa, what have you? What has Lotro been keeping you busy doing lately? Lately, I've decided to get some of my guys up to 100. I always send my hunter into the new zones right away so he can get the ports and stuff. And then I kind of backed off. Things have been going not so well in my life. Um, <clears throat> I got fired recently, which worries me because now I'm not sure I'm going to be able to afford the $250 guest host fee. Oh, well, um, maybe we'll have to take it out and trade or something. Anyway, uh, I got my minstrel to 100, just in case somebody needs a max-level minstrel for a group. And I'm working on my champion now. He is level 98 and about 0.79. Okay. I've also been working on his virtues. He now has three 18s and two 19s. Wow. 19 is the cap currently? As far as I know, unless they sneaked it up to 20 without telling me. Okay. I've been having trouble with some of them, too, because uh, things have been removed, some of the deeds you need. I did uh, Volume 3, Book 13, expecting that I was going to open a deed for Zeal, and I didn't. Oh. And there's some stuff in Moria that I was able to get, but Akinney wasn't. And I think it's got something to do with the update um, to Moria a while back. Okay. I found another deed that's been removed for exploring in Moria. Apparently that was taken out because of the versioning. Oh, so that kind of messes with the deeds. Yeah, I would say so. So you must go into... Well, Slayer deeds are generally for... um, not things like Zeal, you know, they're for the fighty. Um... Well, that's what Zeal is now. Oh, okay. Um, Zeal used to be really crummy, and I didn't get it on any of my guys. Then they revamped it and made it great for melee classes, and now I'm scrambling to get my Zeal from 2 to 19. Oh, yuck. Yuck. That's... Yeah, let's see. My Zeal right now... Gives me 517 max morale, 923 physical mitigation, and 285 armor. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Yeah, um, I remember listening to um, one of, oh, I do not remember his name. He um, did the roundtables on CSTM, some of the mini roundtables, 
um, right after they quit doing things. Um, and he was talking about how they were talking about how it's the mitigations is what you need. It's not necessarily anything else um, at, at max level. And I'm assuming that has not changed. Yeah, um, one of my kinmates was surprised to find that I dropped justice in favor of innocence, which has physical mitigation, resistance, and tactical mitigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really, I, I don't know about you, but my mini doesn't need any more morale, and I'm definitely not running out of power anytime soon on her. Yeah, power consumption hasn't been a problem even on my hunter lately. That sounds like that has been keeping you quite busy. Um, I have been doing more questing in the new Gondor area. I've got two that I'm running through. They're both minis um, doing those those quests and stuff. So that's basically what I've been doing. I got my Landy mini from, I think she was mid-97 to mid-98 in the last few days. Um, summer's ending, so I will have more time to play Lotro, but um, it's, you know, the weather has been nice, so I've been doing other things other than sitting at a computer all day. There are other things? There are other things, like um, starting Baldur's Gate on my um, iPad. Good heavens, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it actually runs not bad on the iPads or the the touch screens, especially if you've got a if you got a stylus that that works pretty pretty well with that. Do you find that after playing that for a while, you find yourself saying "Hey, uh, like Imowen? Uh no, I, I more more of my brain is like go for the eyes, boo, <laughs> go for the eyes. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> Minsk, <laughs> Minsk. We were talking about. Um, I don't know how we got on the subject of giant hamsters at D&D &D last Saturday, but we did. And he's like, did you play the second one? I'm like, no, I don't think I did. And actually, I think I got the two mixed up in my head. I think I finished Baldur's Gate 2. I don't think I played much of Baldur's Gate 1. Because I really don't remember being yelled at to go for the eyes as much as I have been. But perhaps I missed Minsk there for some reason, somehow. Uh -huh. It was SSI's gold box games that got me to buy a PC to replace my Commodore 64 because mm -hmm. the fourth game did not come out for the Commodore. Ah, I see. see that's how they, that's what they do to you. They um they expect you to upgrade so you can play the new exciting games. Well, that is what um I have we have been doing in game. <laughs> Um, Free Lauren has been live streaming. He, it's slow leveling on the uh, mini, I guess. Somebody asked him if they could, you know, level up and join him. He's like, yeah, sure, come along. I'm really slow at this. I, I like the quests. And then, and then somebody's like, well, um, does Maid of Lions know you like skip the quest, quest writing? And he's like, well, he does now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he's been having fun, you know, reading all of the text and doing that on his live stream. One thing that is very exciting that the chat room will know, I hope people saw it on Twitter. Um, are you excited to, to hear the Tolkien Professor live stream tomorrow? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to be able to listen in now that I'm <clears throat> unemployed. Yeah, well, there's an upside slightly. <laughs> Uh, the one thing about him that bothers me is he does not pronounce elvish words correctly. I know. You okay. know how I am about that. I do know how you are about that. Uh, I even say Gondor. Oh, okay. You know what that means, right? No. Stoneland. Oh, okay. That's... Yes, much as Gondamon, which everybody calls Gondaman, is Stonehill. Okay. Interesting. That makes perfect sense. I you you never you you know he's a linguist, but you until you hear things like this, you don't really you know it doesn't hit your brains that he was a linguist. Everything means something. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm going to try to sneak in to watch it at work um, on my phone. So hopefully nobody needs me during that time because I'm planning on watching the live stream during my break. Um, and then there was some few a few interesting notes on the forums that I saw. Um, update 15 is internal testing right now, so I'm assuming that means it's on Palantir. And those of you who are in Palantir can't tell us if it's on Palantir. Um, also, more character slots will become available before update 15, which is good because people were asking for that um, for the warning. Uh, well, in the past, they've always given us new slots when a new character class came out. Although I shouldn't say always because that's only happened once. Once. When the two new character classes came out, everybody got two free slots. Oh, well, hopefully they are free. We will see. That would be nice. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Free. At the time, you bought Moria, you got the two classes, you got the two slots. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so with the expansion. Right. Right. So uh, you would not have to scrap a character in order to, to try a new warden or roomkeeper. Yeah, and I think that's um that's the hope. I know there are there are several people out there um that do not have enough slots for any additional characters. I don't know um how they keep them all straight. I can't, but um I I think I have a couple of slots available and I have room for more. I could purchase more if I wanted to. Um, and I, I probably will roll a Bjorning just to see what the style is like. Yeah, I, I bought one extra slot to create a, a lobby when a friend of mine started playing, but he dropped out pretty quickly. And so now I've got a mid-level mini that just sits there getting dusty. Yeah, well, I actually have um, one poor dwarf. His name is um, Vault Dude, um, and that's what he does: is he stands at the vault and holds dresses for the rest of my characters. Yes, my roommate has a mule too. <laughs> yeah, so that's um, also a reminder: this coming weekend is Hobnanigans. So if you do not have your chickens to add to your chicken list on the collector tab, um, now would be a good time to get them. I'm glad you learned how to say Hopnanigans. I honestly thought it said Hop... I swear I read Hopnanigans someplace, but thank you for correcting me, because I really did think that's what it said. And I probably said it wrong for, like, months. <laughs> because that's what it said. And, of course, be prepared for the Fall Festival, which is one of my favorite festivals. And I'm desperately hoping we're going to get something other than a blanket horse and a robe. Because I'm so tired of blanket horses and robes. And now I have to collect them because there's a deed attached. Yeah, I've pretty much given up on all of the festivals and special events, having done them so many times since the game launched. Um, yeah, generally what I do on my main is I go around and I do the in-league quests. And yes, I know you can do the in-league and the Ale Association but I haven't gotten membership to the Ale Association because I just can't be that mean to hobbits. But anyway, um, you can, I, I usually go around and do like the, that run once a day for a few days. And then I have enough to trade in for the currency of the current festival to get any cosmetics I want. And I don't actually have to do the fishing quests. <laughs> I'm pretty much happy with the cosmetics for all of my characters. I, I like their current looks. The best is the lore master who got two of the special robes that dropped when What's-Her-Name attacked um, the entrance to Angmar. Entrance to Angmar. Uh... Um, the one that sounds like the name of an airport. I can't think of it now. Oh, Oak Tree? Oak tree? No, no. I don't know. Hang on, let me get the map here. Um, O'Hare. It sounds like O'Hare Airport. Okay. Secrets of Silver Blades. Best gold box ever. <laughs> what? What is that? Is that a, a Draculetta? Oghire. Is that a... Um, is that a outfit or is that a 
What is that? The Secrets of Sober Blades. All right, and why they're asking. Um, that's pretty much all there is in news. I mean, there, you know, it's pretty slow season. It's we'll probably be getting more news in the next few weeks, from what I saw on the forums from um, Freylorn. Freelorn that he um, no actually it was Rowan who said that the stuff was testing and Rowan who said that he would have stuff for us in the next few we- um, next few weeks to give us some more information. I have one thing in community. Um, there is I don't think that. I haven't heard that there's going to be a fellowship walk this year. I um, Usually they ask us for donations, and we haven't heard about that this year. I do know that um, Kirilyn with the Lonely Mountain Band, and uh, she does the, the horses, the horse racing, um, is doing a Solve a Mystery event on the 20, October 25th. And they will be auctioning off some in-game items on Landreval before that event starts um, at 4 p.m. Eastern server time. And they've got some pretty cool stuff if you're on Landy. And how it's going to work is they're going to auction them off and then you have to donate directly to Sapiens's extra life page to get the stuff. So what they're, um, they're, they're auctioning off an LMB concert... Um, they're auctioning off sufficient rep items to gain kindred status with the following factions, Men of Bree, the Matham Society, Thorns Hall, Elves of Rivendell, Rangers of Esteldon. Oh boy, um, I'm going to get my, um, <laughs> pronunciation. Wardens of An- Anumanas, Council of the North, Lassoth of Forfell. Iron Garrison, and many, many, many more. Um, maps of the world, a uh, set of cosmetic dyes of each color, um, friend to animals. So if you have a baby lore master, they will have one tome of each of the lore master animals, cat, dog, frog, fox, snakes, and squirrels. Um, a set of all of the um, instruments and um, one of each of the Rohirrim furniture. That sounds pretty cool. That is something that any um, any of the the different servers could do for extra life if they wanted to. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, she's really really good at putting on events. I um, she does an actual um, racing like schedule, like they have routes and there's like um, you do you race and then there are results and then there are cups. And I mean, they've given away like hundreds of gold for these, like there's a racing season and it's, it's amazing the work she puts in for this kind of race. And then the solve a mystery events are something that's kind of cool as well. They, they come up with a script and you have to figure out, it's kind of like the, the mystery dinner kind of thing. And they put people far enough away that you can't hear what the, what the different, um, player characters who are who are the actors are saying so you have to go around to each one to talk to them to find out who did what and last time I um, attended one it had something to do with the the um, cup being stolen from like the food festival or something who stole the cup kind of thing it was obviously a Sackville Baggins it was I do believe it was one of the hobbits that did it And then, of course, speaking of Extra Life, um, MMO Reporter will be doing Extra Life this year. I do not know. I'm going to assume we're going to have some giveaways and stuff on the stream for donations like we did last year. We're going to be playing Wildstar for 24 hours as Chua's. And whatever class we want to be as a Chua. I think the goal is to everybody get a hamster ball by the end of the day and about 4 o'clock in the morning just roll through Wildstar Nexus on hamster balls, I think, maybe the plan. I've never played Wild Star, so that sounds really weird to me. Yeah, Chua's are um, these little hamster, crazy, short, kitty hamster went 
just horribly wrong kind of things. <laughs> they're little, short, fat, round, and they're just, they're insane, is what they are. They're just flat out insane. <laughs> And um, they get uh, a mount that basically looks like a rolling hamster ball. So that is the plan for Extra Life. We will start at 8 a.m. Pacific, running to 8 a.m. Pacific on Sunday. Uh, So far, it's just Chris and I on the team. The rest of us will be joining. Uh, there'll be more of us joining. So if you'd like to like help me beat him out and donations, my page is there. I will put, there's a link in the show notes. I will also put it in the chat room. I I was so excited. I got to um, sit down and have lunch with Rick at PAX. And he got to tell me a little bit more about Extra Life. And I was so excited to hear that they try very, very hard for every dollar that goes in with donations, that same dollar goes out. There's not a whole lot of overhead fees. Um, they try to get that from other sources. So um, that is actually pretty good because most charities are 50 or 60 cents on the dollar go out to the actual charity. You know, I've seen a lot of charities lately proclaiming that 100% of the net proceeds go to your charity. Mm-hmm. And that is just so bogus. 100% of the net could be 1% of the gross. Exactly. So it's nice to know exactly, you know, what what you're actually supporting them with. You know that they're not skimming the profits for themselves. Okay. Yeah. They. Um. I do know it does. You know, it does cost to manage a charity, but when they get into the seventy, you know, forty or fifty or sixty percent of the money that you give goes to management fees, maybe it's time to look for a different charity. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to talk about our sponsors. Um, one of our sponsors is GoDaddy. We have been using GoDaddy to host our site for years. When Chris breaks the site, they go in and they fix it for him. It's awesome. I also have my own site, which has nothing on it. I I have it up. It's running, but there's nothing there for anyone to see um, at thecarrymac.com, actually. Um, And if you would like to get your um, own domain, you can get 30% off if you use the coupon code MMO30. Um, and that you can get 30% off of any of your whole order. So whatever's in your cart will get you 30% off. So you can get your domain. You can get them to get your WordPress set up, or if you would like a regular business site, they can help you with that as well. Um, And then just use MMO30 to get 30% off of whatever's in your cart. Or if you'd like to just, you know, get um, Awesome Possum, for $1.99, you can get that. Just use MMO199, and that will get your um, that will get you a.com. Also, we have a couple of other sponsors who are our favorite sponsors who have been with us for a long time, Doghouse Systems. I love my Doghouse System. Um, my husband's getting a new computer. I wish we could afford to get him a Doghouse System, but he doesn't play games, so we're just going to get um, enough for him to uh, surf the web like he needs to. You know, I'm so frustrated because I was looking at their armor series of desktop gaming systems, and I know I could get the Armor ES, and I'm thinking, I might go for the Armor TL, which is top of the line. And then I got fired, and now I can't afford it. I was looking forward to that, you know, doubling my RAM with the MMO reporter code and everything. (sighs) Yeah, well, I will tell you, I, I couldn't afford the um, their anything above their base um, system, and I have been unbelievably happy with just the base system. It, it, any game that I have thrown at it has not hiccuped once. It has done a fantastic job for me, and that is because they test their stuff to make sure it it runs on everything, and what they put in it is you know is going to is going to work. So I. Yeah, that's too bad, because they're really good systems. And, of course, we have Audible Trial. Um, Audible, you can get a one-month free, which is a credit for a book, at audibletrial.com slash reporter. We are also still doing our Patreon. Um, I'm going to I'm, – oh, the reason I'm, I'm hesitating is I'm cutting and pasting. Oh, we're still at $72 a month on that. If we make it to 100 we will get a new song. I'm – 
who knows, we may get all, they don't want me singing, but they might get people who can actually sing to sing on this song. <laughs> well, hit me up once I get a job again. All right, we will do that. All right, and if you would, um, if you'd like to, to get a hold of us, you can email us at lotro.reporter at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter at Lotro Reporter. You get to see very interesting spellings of the word record because autocorrect is really insane. Also, you can um, find us and just search on Facebook for Lotro Reporter. I will, I usually just repost interesting um, Middle Earth themed things that I see um, in my feed on that. You can leave us a voicemail at 616-666-6778, or you can use the widget on the right-hand side of the screen when you visit the site, which of course is lotoreporter.com. You can also check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash MMO Reporter Network. I do know Leonor has plans when he gets settled in to be doing more one plus one keyboard stuff and some more streaming. Um, and for the streaming, be sure to, to follow us and favorite us at twitch.tv slash MMO Reporter. That way you know when all of our shows go live and when we do other things. I know Chris will be streaming some Shadows of Mordor. I probably will try to stream Shadows of Mordor as well. You probably should come laugh at me because I'm really bad at games like this. But it should be interesting. Um, you can follow me at the Carrie Mac. It's T H E C A R I M A C. Um, I'm Amaset. Can they follow you on Twitter? Yes. If you happen to have available a telecommuting job with vague, undefinable goals and a high rate of pay, please send me a tweet to at Amaset. A M A V O C E T. And you can follow Leonor at Leonor, L-A-Y-A-N-O-R. He is in transit, but he probably, if he can get to Wi-Fi, will probably enjoy. Uh, actually, by the time this gets out, he's probably going to be landed <laughs> in his new home in Wisconsin. So, but you can you can tweet him and ask him how the trip went. Amamasat, thank you so much for joining me tonight. You're welcome. Would you like to end with an Elvish poem? I would love to end with an Elvish poem. Go ahead. This is the well-known Elbereth Gilthoniel. <clears throat> ah, Elbereth Gilthoniel, Silivrin Penamiriel, O Menel Aglar Elenoth, Nachairad Falandiriel, O Galath Remen Enorath, Fanwilos, Lelinathon Nef Ayer Si Nef Ayrum. We just need to find you a job where you need to speak Elvish. That's all we need is somebody who is fluent in Elvish and <laughs> English, and you're good to go. <laughs> I can even throw in a little Klingon if necessary. Ah, that's that's always an important one to know. Thank you. That was beautiful. You're welcome. My Govanen. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and thank you for listening. And as always, we do hope to see you in game. Have fun in Middle Earth, folks. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.